Ryan Burrows, uh, supporters, player of the season. Uh, you must be very honoured. Yeah, certainly am. You know, it's um, accolades aren't something that I, I go out for. Um, you know, but greatly received. And as far as the, the season's can been, uh, as far as it's gone, I mean, the the supporters' comments on the voting, you know, made it clear their admiration for you. I mean, what's your, uh, you know, what have you thought of them? Oh, brilliant! You know, the um, what sticks in my mind is I think it was the Nottingham game. You know, when we when Butts Park were, were banging there, and you know, last few minutes of the game, and we're going for the bonus point try, and. You know, the place were rocking and I think one on the video, you know, there's Rob Knox standing in front of the crowd, you know, cajoling them along, getting them going and, you know, rugby down there means a lot to um, to this club and, 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 and the fans and I'm, you know, very grateful for, for the award. You've, uh, you know, you, look, you know, with your previous history, you've been at Leeds and Newcastle, you know, the clubs in, in big cities which may struggle to to make headway i mean obviously given you know with rhinos and leeds united in, in leeds and then newcastle united as well so to come to a city where rugby is the i'm not going to say the number one sport because cov city may have something to say about that but it, it's it's such a massive part of the area isn't it yeah it certainly is you know if i go back to um just to my carnegie days you know what you you're in the same city as leeds rhinos who rightfully so have dominated their game for for so long and you watch them play and they're getting 15, 16, 17,000 week in, week out. And, you know, whilst I was, whilst I was over there, you're constantly competing against that. Um, you know, and probably to a little bit similar to, to Newcastle. Um, although I think just being in the Premiership probably draws that, you know, that, that few more fans. Uh, but obviously coming down to Coventry is really at home. And um, it's a proper rugby club, what I call a proper rugby club. You know, it, it means a lot to the fans. Um you know, and you can just see that just in day-to-day training, you know, the old guys around the club sweeping up, doing the odd jobs. And, um, you know, it, it probably proves that without the fans and without their support, you know, um, would this club still be around at times? And then you look at the, the crowd funder as well and the reaction to that. It's been uh, impressive to see. Oh, it's been amazing, you know. Um, you know, probably like many others, when it, when it first went out, I, I saw it and I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd be amazed if, if that takes off or if, you know, if that gets going. And, you know, here we are a few weeks later and with £30,000, absolutely fantastic. And, you know, um, again, a massive congratulations and thank you to the fans. As far as the season's concerned, you know, a quarter-final spot in the in the Championship Cup and then finishing fourth in the league as well, you know, at the start of the year, those were almost minimum expectations, do you think? And and in terms of looking back, you know, could it could it have been more? Um, for me personally, I think it was. Yeah, um, you know, when I sat down and spoke to Roland, he uh, before I signed, he was just you know we just want to improve on on this season. Um, and then when I signed, and I saw the caliber of players that we'd, we'd signed and what we were at the club, um, you know, top four were minimum. Um, top four minimum, and luckily we, we, we scraped in there um, due to due to coronavirus. Um, you know, with the season ending, we got in there. But I think that you know, four, top four were rightfully was rightfully ours. And um, you know, if, if we had not made top four, it'd have been down to our own downfall. You know, there's a there's a handful of games that you look at, especially away from home, that we should have won and um, and we didn't. Uh, but I think for the squad that we have got, um, top four were minimum requirement. So in terms of learnings going into next season, are those going to be the things that you're going to take away from it in terms of the, the lessons from the likes of Ampton and Hartbury into into closing out those games? Yeah, they've got to be, you know, um, you know, I, will probably, I probably said it in public a couple of years, uh, last year when I signed, you know, you know, I was coming in and I was trying to help Coventry's away from, um, you know, and it's, it's not improved. Um, so that's a massive area for us to improve. You know, we lost the one league, the one league game at home, and what do we win one or two away one or two away games? Uh, it's not acceptable, and we still finished top four. Um, you know, so if we win another two or three away games, you know, we will probably come for second, third, um, without doing anything really amazing. Um, so the capabilities were there, um, but you know, when we get back in, it's it's all about you know how do we turn two away wins into four, into five, into six. You know, with with our home form, and you know, we'll easily be top three, top no, top two, top three. Ealing is strengthening. Um, more on that in just a second. But um, with Saracens <laughs> as well coming into the league, I mean, it's it's going to be a big prospect of, of some of some really tough games and, and some really exciting games next year. Yeah, look, of course there is. Um, 
you know, we, we ran it in course a couple of times. You know, we saw the draw down at their place and then the, the, the game at, at Butts Park latterly in the season. Um, you know, so we knew that on our day we could compete with Eland, but we knew that we had to be on top mental. Um, now, if Saracen's coming down, it's going to be a whole new challenge. You know, it's going to be similar to the Newcastle one, if not if not bigger than the Newcastle one, because we don't know what sort of players they're coming down with yet. You know, we don't know if, you know, is Owen Farrell going to be playing, is Vunny Puller going to be playing, etc., etc. Um, you know, but we'll not get carried away with things like that. We'll just take it, you know, age old saying, week by week, and we'll just relish those challenges when they appear. Um, just sticking with Saracens for a minute, I mean, with the Premiership's going to be much changed next year, you know, I think Championship as well, but, you know, just to have Saracens in the division, I mean, you know firsthand the, the kind of quality of the rugby and the ambition that clubs have in this league. So to have Saracens in it, it's almost going to be an opportunity for the whole league to showcase itself, isn't it? Yeah, look, of course it is. Um, you know, you'd imagine Saracens coming down, there'll be a lot more um, publicity around it than, than, you know, say like a Newcastle or a London Irish or, you know, just with the whole history of what Saracens have achieved over the last five or six years. Um, you know, when you speak to people about Championship rugby, they say, look, it's it's quite boring, it's quite traditional, um, you know, but you know, hopefully with Saracens coming down, there'll be a few more games uh, ahead on, te- on television and, be a massive showcase for us to show what a championship's about and get more, you know, get more funding ultimately. I think hopefully people by now will have uh, guessed that uh, now that we're talking about the future with Coventry and having just mentioned Ealing, <laughs> is that you can't always believe what you read in the gossip in the gossip pages. No, no. Well, look, you know, I signed a three-year deal at Coventry and I've got two more years to run, so you know, I'll, I'll be there for the, at least two more years, and who knows what happens after that. You know, it's a great club, and um, I'm loving my rugby, and it's. Sort of reinvigorated me a little bit after um, two years at Newcastle of doing bits and bobs, and obviously last year with the fam, you know, with my my, my brother passing away, it sort of reinvigorated all that that love again for rugby and just you know going out there enjoying it week in week out, and you know it's been amazing what we've what you know what we've achieved this year as a club, but um, you know it's not what I set out to do with with Roland, you know when when we first spoke we spoke about. You know, getting Coventry rugby premiership ready and a premiership team, and you know, we're a million miles away from that yet. But you know, I'm 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 ready to ride that roller coaster.